everyone, and thank you for joining us today at the Taubman Museum of Art for a very special story time. Today, I want to read to you the story called Art Dog by Thatcher Hurd. And we want to thank our friends at HarperCollins Publishing for allowing us to read this to you today. Art Dog by Thatcher Hurd. Arthur Dog was a guard at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. He liked his job. He liked garden paintings by Vincent van Dogh and Pablo Poodle, but Leonardo da Vinci was Arthur's favorite painter. Or was it Henri Matisse? Arthur couldn't decide. At night, Arthur came home to his little apartment on West 17th Street, made himself dinner, and read until it was time for bed. Arthur led a quiet life. He seldom went out, except on nights when the moon was full. On those nights, Arthur's eyes grew bright and his fur seemed to glisten. He would take out a box he kept in his closet. Do you keep a box in your closet? What's your box filled up with? He would put on a hat and a mask and tiptoe down the back stairs into the streets of Dogopolis. What's he doing with a box and a mask? He crept down an alley and when he was sure no one was around, he unlocked the box and took out, what do you think he's gonna take out? paints and paintbrushes. He painted a slash of lightning, a splash of sunshine, and dozens of glowing lights in the night. He painted monsters 10 feet tall, fish with tails the size of houses, frogs ready to hop over skyscrapers. What would you paint if you were painting throughout the city? When he was finished, he crept home, a dog alone, wondering if anyone ever noticed his paintings. No one saw him paint or sign his paintings with a splash of a tail and the name Art Dog. No one knew who Art Dog really was until one night at the museum. Crash! A window was broken. A door was busted. Boing! The alarm went off and footsteps clattered down the alley behind the museum. Oh my goodness, what is happening? The police screeched to the scene of the crime. The director of the museum was not far behind. Yikes! The Mona Wufa's gone, cried the museum director. Look what they left instead of a Leonardo da Vinci. Is this art? Looks like a Mona Lulu to me, said the chief of police. The paint's still wet, said the museum director. Paint's dripping on the floor. Find me the culprit, barked the chief of police. They nabbed the first dog they found in the alley. His eyes had a certain glow to them, and his fur seemed to glisten in the moonlight. He also had a paintbrush in his paw. Book him, said the chief of police. They threw him in jail. No, we've got our dog. But he didn't do it, did he? When no one was looking, he pulled out a brush and a tube of paint, and he painted a ladder. He climbed up the ladder, and where there were bars, he painted a window. And then he jumped out. He's escaping. What's he gonna do? Back onto the streets of Dogopolis, then he put his nose in the air. What was he sniffing? Suddenly, he took out his brush and his paints, sip, splash, smoosh. He painted himself a brushmobile with his name on the side. Kind of like the Batmobile, but for Art Dog. 
He whizzed over to the Acme paint factory to fill up his tank. Then off he roared into the night, over highways and bridges, through the park and past the ballet, leaving a trail of paint behind him as he went. He slammed on the brakes in front of a deserted warehouse. He sniffed, he tiptoed, he looked inside. Three nasty looking mutts were getting ready to ship something to a distant port. He took a closer look. It was the Mona. Yikes! The mutts turned around. Hey, what are you doing here? said the biggest mutt. Gosh, I, er, I must have made the wrong turn, said Art Dog. You can say that again, said the mutts. It looked like big trouble for Art Dog. There was only one thing left to do. What is he going to do? Paint! Touché! On guard! Looks like he's trying to fight the other mutts with paint. What a masterpiece! Wow, said the chief of police as he arrived with the museum director. How did you know where the Mona was? Art Dog wiggled his nose. I can smell art a mile away. The director of the museum said, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Art Dog, said Art Dog, pointing to his brush mobile. Art Dog, I like the way you paint. How about a show at the museum? Sure thing, said Art Dog, as he sped away in his brush mobile. Now he's gonna get a show at the museum. Soon it was the night for Art Dog's show at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. Everyone stood around and sipped root beer as they waited to meet Art Dog and see his paintings. But where was he? Where were his paintings? And for that matter, wondered the museum director, where's Arthur? He should be on the job tonight. Suddenly there was a sound. Everyone rushed outside just in time to see Art Dog high in the sky finishing his masterpiece called City Rhapsody. Everyone was amazed and speechless. Then suddenly he was gone. Who was Art Dog? Who was this painter in a brushmobile, catcher of crooks? Bringer of light to the Dogopolis night. No one knew. Thank you for joining us, and soon we will post an art project to go along with Art Dog. We hope you'll join us.